Hey folks, welcome back to Magical Diary. Okay, well, things have just gotten weird here with Damien and everything, so screw him. Um, we're now on the sports team, things are awesome, and apparently something weird is about to happen, who the hell even knows what, so let's go ahead and go to next week. Monday morning, for Jamie on some stretches. Time for another week of the grind. Wait. Huh, what? Well... The first big exam is this week, right? Sure. Who's giving the exam? What are we expected to know? When does it happen? No idea. Aren't you supposed to know these things? Your family! Virginia waves a hand dismissively. Secrets. All kinds of secrets. William says if he tells me on the test what's on the test, then the test wouldn't be fair. Well, it would be wrong for him to tell you the answers. That's cheating, and William would never do that. But you must know something. What kind of tests are they? Do we have to fight, write essays, or fight duels, or fight essays, or write a duel? Look, all I know is that it's about casting spells. That's it. Now, come on. We have to pick our schedules for the week. All right. Well, I still suck at black magic. And let's see. Let's do green. And I'll have a study period. And we'll do white and blue. Yeah. Okay, that shouldn't stress me out too much. You know, instead of the study period, I think I'm going to take a day off. Ah, black magic. Success. Ooh, green magic. Damn. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. All right. I wake up in the middle of the night and I can't remember why. Oh. Right, someone's talking in her sleep. Oh, William. Is Ellen having a dream about... No. Wait, that's Virginia's voice calling her brother's name. <sighs> Do I want to know what she's dreaming about? No, honey. No, honey. No. Let's, let's not even go there. The anti-venom is creamy. No, I probably don't want to know. Oh, dear God. I'm going back to sleep. Good call, Stumpilda. Sleeping reduces stress. Brought to you by the American Sleep Council. Woohoo! After class. Hi, Stumpilda. Professor Graviner's holding an open review for the exam. Do you want to come? Virginia can't be bothered. She says it's not worth it. Hmm. It's the first test, and it's probably not a big deal. On the other hand, even if it was a big deal, Virginia probably wouldn't want to study more than she had to. Yeah, let's go cram. Sure, I'll come with you. Great, maybe we can quiz each other afterwards. Maybe. Dear God. The room is slightly too small for all the anxious freshmen clustering in it. From the whispers I overhear, it seems that no one knows what the test is going to cover, only that it takes place tomorrow. Professor Graviner's appearance doesn't settle anyone's nerves. Open your notebooks if you have them. This is not a quiz, this is for your own benefit. If you do not know the answer, look it up or ask someone. I scoot over to where I can peek at Ellen's notes. They're better organized than mine. If you have paid any attention to your schoolwork up to this point, you should be aware of a broad range of uses for magic within the pentachromatic system. Mr. Arius, if I wish to cast a spell to make a beast's fur fall out, what color of magic would I use? Oh, 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 I know, I know. Green, sir. I should hope that you would know that much without the need to ask for my approval. Miss Stompikin, what color of magic would you use to transform a lump of coal into a diamond? Oh, 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 I know, I know, black, black. Black, sir. Why are you so hesitant? The magic of objects is certainly a possibility. He continues in this vein, putting individual students on the spot to answer questions about the applications of each color of magic. Suddenly, his voice cuts off in the middle of a sentence. Mr. Danson. Yes, sir? As you do not appear to have need of these revisions, you are excused. You may find more challenging material to occupy you this Saturday in detention. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. He leaves the room. 
What was that about? I didn't see him do anything, but it's too crowded in here to be sure. I hope all this revision is worth it. It's wearing me out. Smarts and stress increased by one. I awaken to a knock on the door. Looking around the room, I notice that Virginia hasn't stirred at all. Ellen's awake, but she shakes her head frantically when I meet her eyes. I guess it's up to me to answer that. I pull on my robe and go to see who it is. Joyous morning to you, Stumbelda. Um, hi. I came to deliver your exam schedules. This is a solo exam, so each student has a separate time slot. Report to their listed room at the time indicated to receive further instructions. Further instructions at separate times? This exam process is very unusual. Please pass on the schedules to your roommates. She waves and goes on her way. Okie dokie. Yay. The instructions said to be at this room at this time. The door is closed and I can't see inside. Someone else might still be in there taking their test. Well, too bad. I don't want to be penalized for being late. I rap quietly but firmly on the door, and the world starts to go surreal. What? What? Um. Oh shit. What happened? Where am I? You are now in dungeon level 1, layout 5B. What? Who said that? The exit from this dungeon lies beyond the wall in front of you. There are no doors in your room. You must use magic in order to escape. Good luck. What magic? What am I supposed to do? No one answers. This must be the mysterious test that no one would tell us about. What happens if we fail? Are we stuck down here? Forever? Bricked up like the cask of Amontillado? For the love of God, Graviner! Surely even Professor Graviner wouldn't be that awful. So I have to use magic. What kind of magic? If I only get one choice... Well, let's see. I want to do something to the wall, so black. There's a wall in my way. Walls are objects. Black magic affects objects, so... I'll try that! Nothing happens. Should I try something else? Wait, things are starting to shift again. I'm back in the school. Is that the best you could do, Miss Stumpy Keen, sir? I cannot tell whether your tactical knowledge is sound and only your skill lacking, or whether you are simply waving your hands at random and hoping for a miracle. Um, well, actually, little column A, little column B. Regardless, you have not been successful. You might have been had you att attempted a form of magic that you had studied sufficiently. Five demerits, and next time consider your options more carefully. Dismissed. What a dick! I walk out into the hallway, my head spinning. Well, that didn't exactly work out. So, how about that exam, huh? How'd you do? Not very well. I blew up the wall. Mostly, anyway. Oh, Grammy said that's the boring answer, but I thought it was fun. What about you, Ellen? Well, I just teleported back out again. Ha! That makes sense. What do you think the other exams will be like? More dangerous? More dungeons? And dangerous? Probably. Weird how the exams are more fun than the classes, huh? I don't think they are. Eh. So what are you guys doing today? At that moment, there's a knock on the door. Is that the allowances? Why didn't they just push them in? I'll go check. Oh, I fucked up Ellen's voice, I will. In the hallway, by our door, I see a small stack of envelopes, the normal ones with allowances in them, and also a large brown padded envelope addressed to me. My parents sent me something. I go back inside and hand out the money to the other girls. What you got there? Something for my parents, I don't know. It's absolutely covered in tape. It's gonna take me a few minutes to get it open. It'll still be here later. I guess. Maybe I'd rather look at it without my roommates around anyway. What should I do today? I'm going to the mall. I'm getting a wand. I'm going to the magic store. I want a wand. Oh yes. Blue wand for twenty bye, bye, blah, blah, blah. for twenty five dollars. Yes, please. You purchase wand. In order to gain the benefits of your item, you will have to wear it. Awesome. Okay, done shopping. I'm broke. 
I finished my shopping and joined my fellow students to return to Iris Academy. Oops. Excuse me a second. Yep. There we go. Apparently my cat, despite being an inside cat, has managed to acquire fleas. While my roommates are out, I pa pull out the package that my parents sent me. Well, it's not a package, really. It's not a box, just a big envelope wrapped up in tape. I try for a while to pull the tape off, but it's not coming. Eventually, I pull out some nail clippers and use them to make a small hole and tear it apart. Inside is a letter. And a small newspaper. My old school's paper. And a stack of photographs. There's Mom and Dad waving at me. My house, my backyard. They haven't forgotten me after all. It'll still be quite a while before I get to go home. Not until Thanksgiving. But they're not really that far away. If they needed me, they could come and get me. I've been here for about a month now. I guess I'm getting used to this life. Alright, I'm gonna... Put it on! And done. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a break here, folks, and I will see you next time. Bye bye